We may be finding out soon if we can go back to Canada. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and we are mere days away from uh, hopefully hearing some good news about the Canadian border. Uh, not gonna hold my breath. I, uh, I'm being hopeful but uh, we'll see. Uh, we've got a trip planned for August. Um, even if they do open it, I don't know if you know what what kind of testing they're gonna require, all that sort of stuff. So it remains to be seen. Now I bring that up because once again, I've got some old footage from 2014 uh, of some muskies that we caught back in the early days of my filming. So I am going to try to take that footage, throw it together and make a cool muskie fishing video for you guys to watch. A lot of times I talk about how it is helpful to have cameras in the boat because there are things that happen when you're a muskie fishing that you might not notice in the moment that you can catch when you rewatch these pieces of video. This just happens to be one of those occasions and there are two times when my friend Dave is casting a bucktail, can't get the blade spinning for whatever reason, maybe there's a piece of weed, maybe they just are being a pain. And there are the two fish that he catches that we'll watch here. The bait is literally skipping over the water most of the time and the fish comes out and wails at it anyway. So. Lest you think that, uh, you know, the blades aren't spinning, I should just lift the bait out of the water. Pay attention to what's going on behind it because you never know uh, when there could be a muskie that's on a suicide mission that's just going to hit the bait regardless of what it's doing. So that was something really cool uh, that I noticed in re-watching these bits of video. So the first part here, uh, I've got Jim missing a little fish, so that's kind of fun to watch. And then another thing that happened this day, Jim bested his personal best muskie uh, of 40 inches with a 48 and a half. But I've already used the footage from the 48 and a half in another video. I'll link it up here and in the description below so you can watch that. I'm not going to redo it and put it in there for you guys to watch again if you've already seen it. But if you haven't, you can watch it. Now on to the bits I was referring to before where Dave is just reeling the bucktail in, it's skipping over the water and the fish. Both both hits are pretty spectacular. Boat side really swirls on the bait. Obviously it's almost acting as a top water at this point. But uh, again, it is so cool to go back and rewatch these bits of film and see how these muskies reacted to what we were doing on this particular day. So without further ado, we'll just run these two back to back. You can watch them, enjoy it, and I'll see what I can do with the editing. Uh, I actually, if you watch the previous video I did, uh, I was talking about how I had gotten into a rush and didn't put my cameras out. This day, I got the main cameras up on the bow and stern, and I actually have a camera on the gunnel, so that helps out. You can pull better audio from cameras on the gunnel, just a little bit of a tip. Uh, it's a lot better than if you've got a camera up high, so we did that. We'll slow it down, we'll play with it a little bit, uh, but yes, please enjoy. Muskie. Like that thing, Brian? Yes! As I was going, that's a waste of a cast as I just skip it in, right? Nice. Nice. I almost just 
pulled it out of the water. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. He wasn't. He was not on my much. Yeah, yeah I got it. Got More to the side. Alright, ready? Ready. Alright, ready? Go. Okay, go. Boom. Nice <laughs> yeah, goes the dynamite. More better. So glad I did just I cast out short. It did, it did that one I'm like all it had to do was come about a foot closer because I didn't want to stab. I was like, just come out and it did that big thrash. I'm like, oh Around. Yep, 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 yep. into the figure eight. Back. 
good? They good. You gone. That's this week's video. I've got some cool stuff coming up. We've got some cool dogfish. I did some dog fishing with Noah Humfeld from Madison Angling YouTube channel and with Lee Talkin from Today's Angler. You may have already seen some of the footage on Today's Angler, but I'll take it, put my spin on it, and have those as videos at some point in the near future here. Uh, we've done a little bit of musky fishing, so that will be coming up. It hasn't been great, so I am lacking in musky content, but we've got a little bit. And hopefully coming up soon, maybe a Canada trip, definitely going to Lake St. Clair coming up. So got some, th got some things in the works. All right, that's it for this week's video, guys. I appreciate every single one of you watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.